Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try and draw a really unique and beautiful flower that I was challenged to try by another um, lovely and talented YouTuber, Lizlo Art. I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description. Do check her out. Anyway, this um, flower is called Queen of the Night and it's a cactus flower. Apparently it's so rare it only blooms for one night out of a year. Needless to say, I had no idea what it looked like and I had to Google it. But wow, I mean, wow, it is so unique and so detailed and just so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. I'm going to try and do my best to, um, to portray it. I've kind of looked at a whole bunch of photographs and they usually come in kind of white or off-white color with a few hints of pink or I've seen one that is actually pink but far be it from me to give myself an easy challenge I'm doing the white one <laughs> anyway because this flower has so much detail in it and um, just tiny little parts in the middle I thought it might be um, better to do it with colored pencils rather than paint just because I can sharpen the tips and really get in there in between um, all, all, all the little, um, I'm not sure what you call those bits in the middle, but it has tons of them. Anyway, um, it is a lovely flower and I'm going to do my best with it. The pencils I've chosen are um, the Gold Range by uh, Castle Arts. I've, um, I've had them for a few weeks now, I had a chance to sharpen them, do the swatches, but I've not really used them properly. That's not true, I used them once in the colouring page when I was just trying to relax and didn't feel like drawing anything and just really wanted to test out the pencils. But um, they're beautiful colours, these are oil based and they're so vibrant and it's really really nice range, so I've decided to use these and I'm um, gonna give them a real good go. Um, also, Castle Arts have um, very kindly given me an affiliate code, so if you wanted to buy anything from their site, you can use my code, I'll put it in the description, and get 30% off um, their entire range, anything in their store, including anything that's already on sale, which is really cool. And they do have some really good products. So again, have a look, um, grab that code in the description. And um, yeah, hopefully you find something that you like using as well. I should add, this video is not sponsored. I bought these pencils myself and I have been itching to try them out properly. Although, I'm not sure that the watercolour paper I'm using them on is the best paper for them, but they are going down very nicely. And I'm starting out very light layers, and I'm starting, because the flower is actually white, I've decided to start by adding the shadows and separating the petals by um, just adding shadows in places where it's kind of darker on the inside. Hopefully it still looks white by the time I'm done with it. I'm using two different greys here, a cool grey and a warm grey. And the centre portion of the flower goes so deep that the depth of it looks almost kind of brown in between all the little stems. I'm not sure if, I don't think they're called stems, but the little things that are coming out of the centre. It's also got like a central pointy thing that comes out and um, has, it almost looks like its own little flower coming out of the flower. But um, yeah, very, very unique. I've never seen I've never seen another flower like it. Honestly, I think I might be drawing this for a while because I'm not gonna be able to get it out of my head. Now the central inner petals of the flower are all white and the slightly larger um, outer petals have like a hint of pink. 
But then they also have these very thin, very long kind of um, slightly curled in petals that are just very bright pink. And it's only those outer ones um, that look like they're kind of slightly curled that are so bright. So I'm having a lot of fun just adding color as I uh, go layer by layer. It's almost bringing it to life kind of as I draw. And um, because these grow off a cactus, there's some kind of spiky leaves behind them. So I'm gonna do some very, very dark green. So hopefully the rest of these very light colors will stand out by contrast. By the way, I'm really sorry about the light changing from time to time. My cat is chilling on my desk as I draw and occasionally he'll either stand up or stick a paw up in the air and block the light so it kind of gets lighter and darker but I don't want to kick him out, he likes sitting with me when I draw. He's actually being really well behaved today. He hasn't chewed on any of my pencils or pushed anything off the desk. He's um, absolutely lovely. Um, recently, for the first time ever, he actually tried to drink my paint water. That was a nightmare. It freaked me out. He's never done that before. I guess it's the first time for everything. By the way, don't worry, he didn't actually get to drink any. I covered it up as soon as he was a whisker away. But um, now I have to watch out for my water when he's sitting here, if, um, if I'm using water. Anyway, these cactus leaves, I, um, I could see so many different greens in there and I wasn't sure how to go about it. So I decided to try and um, kind of show off the spikes of the leaves and just use different greens and intermingle them so you can kind of kind of tell where the leaves are but kind of not because at the end of the day it's the background I don't really want it to draw focus and um, it gets dark in a kind of bottom corner so I'm using a lot of black and mixing in the black into the green and um, right in the bottom left corner here just using black and then blending it back into a green by the way I think obviously with it being watercolor paper it has some grit so I'm really not um, not loving how much white I can see through the pencil. So I'm either going to try and burnish it or try and use um, either a blender pencil or something. I have a few from different brands actually. Um, I don't believe Castle Arts make one. So perhaps I'm going to write them a suggestion that they should um, have their own brand uh, blending pencil. Because they do come in really handy. Having the background in does make the flower stand out really nicely, but it's also made me notice a few areas that need um, more contrast within the flower. So I'm just going around and adding a few more shadows here and there where I feel they're needed. Now I want to get rid of the visible tooth of the paper in the background here especially. So I'm using a Derwent blender pencil. It's really handy and I'm just going in slightly circular motions. I'm not pressing it hard, I'm not burnishing it. I'm just blending what there is. And usually for blending you have to have quite a lot of layers of color. Whereas um, here it's only maybe a couple of layers. But as you can see it's making it stand up really well and it's brightening it up and you can definitely see less white of the paper so I think it's working it's magic and I definitely think the castle art should make one of their own it also feels like it's done a much better job on the areas of color than the areas with the black because, I mean, when I started you could definitely see the difference, but now you can still see the white, so I'm burnishing these areas. I'm just going over them again, and this time pressing down hard to get rid of all the white bits of the paper. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. 
Oh no, I can't believe I just ripped that. Oh, oh well, it happens. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more random art. Thanks, see you soon.